Hello, 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 everybody. This is your good buddy, Delvin, also known as the Nine Pound Hammer. Brought to you in part by Power of the Interwebs. Anyway, as my uh, title suggests, we're going to talk about storage units. And um, there are some big things in the works. Um, my friend Abby and I are actually going to start emptying out all the storage units that I have. Um, the last couple of days we have gone and looked at a couple of them, uh, and she is very, very excited to dig in and, uh, start emptying them out and, um, getting some stuff stole. So we are actually going to build an empire together. We, uh, are going to start start an actual business um, and looking at some retail locations, uh, warehouse. Uh, so I can do, uh, so we can do like a buy, sell, trade store. Uh, and then once a month, what hasn't sold, uh, we're going to have an auction since I am a licensed auctioneer. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, so yeah, so lots and lots of, uh, fun stuff in the future. Um, we actually, yeah, right. Um, we actually, uh, hello, Eric and hello, TW. Um, so I took her to my two biggest ones. Um, the one I have is uh, 10 feet by 30 uh, by 15 foot high. I bought that unit a few months ago for $310. I've been paying $138 a month storage rent because I just re-rented it because I didn't have a place to put stuff uh, for about six months. So let's say I'm twelve to $1,500 into it. I've more than tripled my money out of that one um, already, and I've only gotten like three feet in. Uh, I sold a couple of pieces of artwork for uh, a few hundred dollars. Uh, there were some electronics right up front that I sold for a couple hundred dollars. Um, there was, uh, I mean, there's that one was, oh, that one had jewelry in it um, and, some co and some coins that I've sold. And this is just the first five feet in a 30 foot deep unit. Um, the second one um, is not as big. It's 10 by 15, uh, only 10 foot high ceilings. Uh, that was the one that had uh, the mom had had lung cancer, I believe, and died. Uh, the son is in prison uh, for the production and distribution of methamphetamines. Hey, Craig. Um, and that one had uh, the medical device that I sold on eBay for like 350 bucks. Um, it had a bunch of clothes I've sold. Uh, like if you look at my eBay right now, there's a bunch of uh, Brooks Brothers shirts and there was some uh, uh, vintage vine or vineyard vines. Um, Joseph A. Banks, a lot of Ralph Lauren. Uh, so that unit had all of that. Um, and some other uh, electronics that I've sold. Um, that unit I paid three hundred and three three sixty. I think I paid three ten for the the biggest one, three sixty for this one. Uh, and I've had them. A, I got the second one about a month after the first one, so I'm a little less into that one. Uh, yes, Krillin, you did hear I, I got some clothes. I got a ton of clothes, buddy. I mean, literally, I have a garage full of stuff. Um, I have a storage unit absolutely filled with clothes. Uh, Abby and I, uh, today, were going through um, one of the, the dressers and then uh, some bags or whatever and found some lingerie, some panties. <laughs> I mean... Um, like, it was like, a, I don't know what you call it. Abby, if you're in here, say something. Um, I put, I don't know what it was called. Like a camisole or uh, a, a silk nighty 
or something and uh i like held it up and i was like oh look at this <laughs> abby says oh my that was a big girl <laughs> i was like oh um so um krillin jump on in if you want buddy greg eric tw anybody um let's see trying to talk i'm chatting with abby on messenger telling her to join and at least talk to everybody in the chat um so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna be doing I, we've been kicking the idea around uh because we're going to collaborate uh she has her own youtube channel which if y'all i i implore you to uh, uh check out her channel it's downtown abby all one word. Abby is spelled A B B E Y. Check out her stuff. Her videos are funny. She did a lot of food reviews and candy reviews uh, and whatnot. Um, but uh, so we're trying to come up with, a, I guess, a, a new. I don't know if we're going to just turn my channel in, into it because we're going to do a bunch of stuff, not just uh, auctions and storage units and treasure hunting and whatnot we're i mean we're gonna do you know food reviews we're just gonna do a little bit of everything um but reselling is is where my heart is uh she's excited about it um i'm excited to actually have a partner in it that uh is as excited and loves the idea and the thrill of the hunt uh, as much as me um and, uh, well, hello, Eric. How are you? I did <laughs> and loves the idea real a lot. Oh. Uh, as well. Hey. Um, and, uh, well, hello, Eric. How are you? I did. You got it. There. Yeah. There we go. I hate when I forget to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Krillin? <laughs> Krillin, I actually are you doing? Are oh, you got a wife beater on again? My God, man! Come on. Late night work. Krillin, you know, I'm just. I'm only gonna be on for a minute. I just heard you talking about some clothes. Yeah, I got a bunch of clothes, man. So I heard you talking about clothes. So I think, and I'm listing right now. I'm listing ties. So. Oh wow. The uh, I went to we went to uh, after we went to my storage units today, we went to one of the Goodwill stores, and literally, there is a mountain of probably 600 ties, and they're like 50 cents a piece. I almost just bought them all, but I passed on them. Yeah, ties one thing that's a tip about ties, it's more about the style. They have to ties, people only like recent certain patterns that are recent in ties. Other clothing, certain sometimes the older styles, like with Polo Ralph Lauren, stuff from the 90s sells really well or different stuff. But if it's a necktie, it's got to be the most recent style. Otherwise, you know, so, I've gotten more for a newer style Brooks Brothers tie than a tie that was a very expensive Armani tie from 15 years ago. You know, whatever it is. It's not the price. You're, you're telling me my... Uh, Skinny 1980s ties. I shouldn't be hanging on to them. No. <laughs> Throw them in the garbage. That's what my wife already did. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, you shouldn't be doing that. Anybody who's listening, if they, they do, half a dozen people listening, you should bring it to Savers. Well, I know you don't got Savers, Eric. But yeah. if you if you d throw all the other crap in the, in the bag, they'll give you a coupon. Now, Delden, do you have Savers by you? No. Nope. Okay, because some thrift stores, if you let, let's say when you're going through this locker, the clothing you gotta have some duds, meaning oh, yeah. some mm -hmm. shirts or something, it's not gonna be even worth selling because they're gonna sell for less than ten, twelve bucks. So at that point, it's not gonna be worth it to sell to even, you know, go through the listing process. Some are gonna have a hole. Some are gonna have armpit stains. You know, buttoned off, popped off buttons. So 
you're gonna you know that's that stuff i you know that stuff i'll bring it to savers the stuff with the you know popped off buttons or the uh stains let them deal with it and then they give you a coupon 30 percent, and then i go and buy their junk right on <laughs> always got to work an angle man because it helps absolutely absolutely but delden you got you you did you know, there was suits in the locker yeah there's some they're really small like the dude was a tiny little man so uh, well delden small or what's what numbers because i mean you, you're a big guy so <laughs> everything's small to me and delden they're like 38 to 40 regular yeah that's small i mean i'm i'm a well I'm a I'm a 62 tall, so yeah. At least you got the tall. Yeah, I'm just I, big. I uh, I ordered a suit online from DXL, and I I ordered a a 64 extra tall, not realizing it, and uh, <laughs> like the sleeves were like seven inches too long and the coattail goes down to my knees i was like oh i gotta return this yeah it's like yeah, well look i'll tell you what i got news for you you can get this uh if you go on ebay joseph bank makes a lot of bigger size suits yeah and they're decent suits they're not they're not crap they're decent especially you know you're running around here and there whatever you're not just sitting at your desk all day you know they make a decent suit uh you know, I'm sure sometimes, you know, you don't want to spend too much on a suit anyway, because I mean, I'm sure sometimes you got to get on your knee to, to check something under the car or to do something, you know, you can, you can get the Joseph bank. They make a lot of, you know, bigger sizes. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah. Go right on eBay. If you put on, I guarantee you, if you go, if you, I guarantee they, they have, I bought a lot of suits, Joseph. That's what I'll look for. A lot of them I found in the fifties, sixties. 60 is pretty big. Yeah. When I got, though, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys know, like, um, I, uh, I've lost 179 pounds in the last, like, two years. Woo. When, uh, I got That's married, in, when I got married in 2009, I was a 72 tall. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, but one thing I've noticed, so in selling in selling clothes, I mean, I I try not to buy clothes at thrift stores or any of that, unless they're like rock T-shirts and I can get them for fifty cents on on Wednesday at Salvation Army. Um, the extra, the big and tall clothes, I have no problem selling. Like yeah. they sell out as fast as I get them in. And I pretty much can get whatever price I want for them. Um, I used to just set everything at an auction, start at 99 cents, and everything would sell for like 24, 25 bucks because it was still 50% off of what they get it for it at the one or two stores that they can shop at. Yeah. Uh, now I just I list everything. If it's uh if it's over three XLT, I, I list it for twenty four ninety five and it, it all sells. Yeah, Every, it sells those it, big sizes. It can be ugly, it just doesn't. I mean, because I'm a fat dude. And I remember when I was in a seven XLT or eight XLT, like I, I didn't care what it looked like. I would just buy it because it fit. Um, yep. And I, I'm noticing with like a lot of my, a lot, cause I have all these clothes that I have listed right now are all like 16 to 17 and a half inch neck, 33 to 34 inch sleeves. They're, they're extra large at the biggest. And I sit on the stuff. I, I listed all these clothes like back in January. I sold three shirts in the last three days: uh, Brooks Brothers, a uh, a Ralph Lauren, and uh, a Joseph A. Bank shirt. But you know, I got seventeen bucks for them, uh, and that's with free shipping. So it. Uh, you know what it is too, Delden, with a lot of those, like say, like a like a Ralph Lauren dress shirt. You know, like you said, an average size, like a 16, 16 and a half is an average man is that size. And with the 34 sleeve, they sell a lot of people. You can go to TJ Maxx and Marshall's and those places and you can buy those shirts new for 30 bucks. Yeah. So that's why some people they look at the tag and say, wow, it's 80 bucks. Why can't I get anything decent? Because like I said, they can go to those stores, get them for 30 and th th not even on a clearance. 
Sometimes you can get it on a clearance and get it even cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Joseph Bank, if it's got no, if it's new with tags like a dress shirt, I might pick it up. But their regular shirt, I mean, even if it's mint, minty fresh, it does, it's not going to sell. Like unless it's like you said, if it's like a six XL or five XL shirt, yeah, I'll pick it up. Yeah. But if it's if it's a regular like an XL or a large, forget about it. It's not gonna. It just because there's just so many out there. Yeah. You know. There's millions. and that's another tip too. When I go to the, the estate sales, the, the the people running the sales they don't realize that the big size is like if it's a, you know, I I bought one guy would you know I don't know if he passed away or not. Estate sale, he had like ten Joseph A. Bank suits, all like. 52 54 and to them the people walking in there the, the regular customers they were way too big for the majority you know for almost everybody yeah. but for me i knew they were worth money and the company didn't think that they were worth any money because to them they can't sell them to their customers but i knew right away i was like yeah look i knew i knew those even though they weren't like super expensive suits i just knew that they would sell so fast and that they would get you know decent money how much do you get for like a full suit? Like, like I'll get like say for like standard Joseph Bank suit. That's like a, like if I pick up like a fifth, like you know at fifty plus, you know that's a bigger size. That's extra. That's an extra large, and up is a fifty plus. I you know I could I would get fifty bucks, sixty bucks if it's really mint or something special about it. I can get closer to a hundred. How do you ship? You it? know if it's got if it's got a unique something like if it's. A cashmere blend or a special they have like special models whatever gold model whatever it is but a standard one that's a size you can get 50 bucks easy so if it's ten dollars at the estate sale 10 you can get 50 60 bucks i don't do you when you do a sh when you how do you ship your suits i buy uh well first of all a lot of people do it differently but what i do is i always do calculated shipping because to me my my opinion always has been I don't want to have to overcharge somebody in New Jersey to give somebody in California a discount. No, I mean, like, how do you actually package the the jacket? Yeah, no, well, I'm just saying. So what I do is I use – I'll just explain. There's a box that I buy. Well, no, I mean, I get it for, you know, for free from the USPS. It's a 12, 12, 8 box, okay? So just yeah. think in your head what 12, you know, 12 by 12 is, yeah. whatever it is. And then I, I, I have a way – you know, I fold it up whatever however i do it you know it's so in like a 12 by 12 area and then i fold it put the pants you know right on the suit and there's plenty of room i would Free. i would love i would love to see you do a video of how you actually fold the suit jacket sure i'll do that i'll do one cool. tomorrow I, I well actually not tomorrow but maybe on monday you know because i'll be sending out i've always be i'll i always send out suits on monday you know because from whatever i sell from the weekend but of course, my luck, I won't sell any suits this weekend because, you know, <laughs> that's always how it now is. We're talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're yeah. talking about it. But what I do is this. So I'll do that. I'll, I'll use that 12, 12, eight box on a calculated shipping. But if it's going to California, I'll now try to squeeze it into the medium flat rate because it's going to be a lot cheaper to go to medium flat rate, you know, as opposed to because if it's a four pound package. Is twenty dollars going to uh, California? But it's yeah. only twelve and change if it's a medium flat rate. But if it's a huge suit, it won't fit, you know. But if it's a regular size, if it's a forty-four, you know, it fits fine. Do you, uh, you know, when you're at the estate sales or anything, do you do you pick up dress shoes? I particularly don't. I'm shoes kind of skeeve me out, to be honest. <laughs> and you know, I mean, look, anybody who's been to a ball game, you know what? I don't like touching the bottom of shoe. I I know I'm not the I'm not exactly I'm not saying I'm the germaphobe or anything, but shoes. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm talking about. Shoes kind of yeah. bother me, and also you know what it is too. If I were to pick up shoes, a lot of times, see, it's easier with a suit. See, I know suits enough. Like, let's say I can measure a suit, and I could know that it's altered. Right, like so. Let's say if I put the suit down and I start measuring it, okay, I'll know by the size, you know, by the measurements. I'll say, you know what, 
this suit is not the size that's on the tag. It was either altered or it's a special model or something was whatever it is. So I can put that in. Like, I don't even need to see the size tag. I can put the old, my own size in the listing yeah. just because I know yeah. how big the chest is going to be, how big, how, how long the, the, the jacket length is. I get, I have an idea. So, but with shoes, it's really kind of hard to do that. And then you're going to get, you get returns. And then when you deal with the Italian brands, some shoes like Todd's shoes are very expensive. Italian name, Italian brand. Mm -hmm. They they're in British sizes, so then you kind of have to convert the British size. Yeah. And then Gucci has their own sizes that's totally different from regular and British. So I didn't know that. Gucci. On which one? Gucci. I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, they have Gucci has their own size, so it, it it's you know. And, and the thing is this. Everyone says, well, you go to the website. Yeah, but guess what? Like I picked up uh, at a sale. I mean, I paid 25 bucks. So, I mean, obviously, just like anything else, if the price is right, I'm going to pick it up just like anything else. But I'm yeah. going to be a little bit more choosy. But like I picked up these other shoes that were from like the early 2000s, maybe late 90s. They yeah. were, you know, so that's different. That's a Tom Ford era Gucci. So, that's you know. Gucci was good. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he built the company. So yeah. it's uh I could tell also, you know, by the way certain things are designed. Speaking of make a long story short. Um uh, make a long story short, it, it's a different sizing. So like I even put that in the listing, you know, about it's you know, that it's hopefully I want to sell to somebody who knows the size. Because returns suck. Delden, you know returns suck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and I was thinking of you today, Delden, because remember how you were we were talking about this a few months ago, that once they put the return in, they have 10 days to print the label or 10 days to get it back to you? Get it back. Remember to we were talking about that? Yeah. Do you know which one it is? It's 10 days to get it no, back I, to you. I think it's actually because one day I called in eBay because there was something that was supposed to be back, you know, I called in that day, and they said, "Oh, but we have tracking that it's going to be there." And so it was. I. It, well, you know what? I think it actually came that a fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, in, in my experience so far, is they have five days to print the label. They have you have ten days to get it back. Okay. So, but and and going back to Tom Ford and Gucci, I have in my possession the greatest, greatest thing Tom Ford ever did for Gucci. Oh, that cologne that you talk about all the time. That that right there, a full bottle of Gucci Envy. It is the greatest fragrance mm -hmm. known to man, and um, I have it listed for sale on eBay for the low low price of three hundred and fifty dollars. Nice, freshly refilled. I mean. Uh... Just <laughs> uh, Brand new. T.W. Holiday asks, mm -hmm. what about uh, big size blue jeans? Have you come across a few pair of really big ones? I also have some big blue jeans as I still have all of my fat pants from when I was a size 64 to 66 inch waist. Um, I am I am a 48 inch waist now. So, Are you shitting me? No, not yeah. at all. I uh wow I I uh at my heaviest I was five hundred and eleven pounds five hundred oof yeah but you're but also you're not not that it, at that point not that I mean but you yeah. you're also six foot five six six right yeah six four and a half yeah so oh six four and a half when you shrank a little bit yeah I'm, I know. see that's the thing is this gravity I was talk I was talking to somebody the other day and I was like yeah I'm I I haven't even looked at the scale but I know I'm around two forty. And it was like, ah, 240, that's not much. I'm like, yeah, but I'm only five foot six. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> right? yeah. yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot. Oh, you're like 240. What are you talking about? That's not heavy. Yeah, but you know, my height. Well, I'm 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 five eleven and a half, and I'm three fifty. Yeah. I well, got the fifty four inch waist. Damn. Yeah, well, we we got to lose weight, man. That's the thing. I was this guy John, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nevermore Antiques. About yeah. six months ago, we were gonna do a Biggest Loser contest, 
and he just wasn't was serious. You know, it was my idea first, and then he copied my idea, and then and then we never did it because it was supposed to, you know, Dwayne, uh, Hale, and Lonnie. Yeah. We were all okay. We're all gonna see, you know, based on the weight, and then percentage wise, how much we can lose. You know, that'd be interesting. I don't know how we could all keep each other honest about it. Oh come on, you don't think that we could be honest? If, if we, you don't think we get ten guys? Each guy, sure. think about it. Each guy puts in a hundred. There you go. Let me, First uh, place gets so much. Second place gets so much. Something like that. You wouldn't want oh. Delden. Would you want to do something? Like, honestly, this is good for our, honestly for our health. You know, keep us. I would do it. I wouldn't win because like I've my uh, I uh, I've kind of plateaued. Like I, I lose like a couple three pounds a month at this rate right now. Um, yeah, but you would win. You say. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I because uh, my my weight loss right now is is so slow. Um, yeah, Krillin, you and I would like lose a bunch easy at first if we really tried. No, but we'll do it over six months or something, and then check yeah. in. Not not over. I know what you're saying because if you just stop eating, we'll lose in one more two months. You 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 lose a lot of water. But, but let me. Uh, I want to show you a picture that I have somewhere. It's a, a one of my before and after pictures. Because everybody sees everybody sees me. I'm you know I'm six four and a half. I'm still three hundred and twenty pounds, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, you're a huge fat dude!" But nobody, <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody ever, you know. I don't I don't walk around with pictures of of super fat Delvin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know I. Uh, Ah, bless it. I got a million pictures. I was just trying to scroll to find the right one. Just find one. What are you talking about? Oh, I, d I got rid of a bunch of pictures. I was so ashamed of myself back in the day. I'm addicted to carbs. Like pizza, I had two, you know, a couple oh. slices of pizza today. You know, I'm it a, kills you. I'm a, I'm a carb whore. That's my problem. I know. I'm a bread and potato guy. Oh, my God. Yep. That just kills me. Burger, Anything. fry, potato. Oh God! Fries, chips. Then I oh. love it with dip, and then I love pizza. And I just had a two huge helpings of spaghetti and meatballs at lunch yeah. at my grandma. Oh my God! <laughs> Where do you live at, Eric? I live out uh, near uh, Canton, Ohio. Oh okay, okay. A buddy Football of mine. Hall of Fame. No, no, it will. So I was, I was not in in the football hall of fame, but. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, if either of you ever get into town for some football Hall of Fame event, make sure, or for whatever reason, make sure to look me up. There ain't a hell of a lot to do in Canton. <laughs> how 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 far are you from uh, Brooklyn? Me? Yeah, Brooklyn, Ohio. Oh, Brooklyn, Ohio. Oh, that's on the uh, like west side of Cleveland there. I'm probably about uh, 50 miles or so. Right on. I think you're talking about me, how far I am from. I'm, I'm less than 50 miles from Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, Ohio. The real Brooklyn. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have a, uh, a friend that uh, she lives in Brooklyn, Ohio. Okay. No sleep till Brooklyn. Oh, that Beastie Boy song caused me to be on a road trip in a blizzard with five other college guys in 1985. It was great. <laughs> uh, started out great. <laughs> yeah. Why are my albums gone? What in the Sam hell? Oh, okay, here we go. Here it is. All right, so I want to see if I can do a screen share here. I forget how to do that. It's been forever. Screen share. Hey, Krillin. Yep. You said you were, uh, All right, here we go. Counting? All right, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. What... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see what's... Oh, yeah. I see that down there. Wow. Big, big fat Delden. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> Look how, like, I was just so round. Wow, dude. I mean, you had like a Barry Bonds head going on there. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, 
Congratulations, dude. Yeah, well. That's amazing. Took my you know where it kills me? My vitamins. I'm a Hulkamaniac. When, when, oh. when, I see, when I see pictures of me with my two little kids. Yeah. You know, that I'm like this ginormous thing, and then there's these two little kids in my lap. <laughs> You gotta be like pretty intimidating to him. Yeah. Now I'm psyched up. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna lose. I gotta lose. Yeah. Going to the gym tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. I'll say that tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even have the energy to get the listings done. Forget about doing the <laughs> the weights. See, that's it. If we got in shape, then we'd be able to pick better and list quicker, yeah. and you know, we'd make more money. Exactly. You know, they're in chat. They're talking about uh, there's a library sale, or does he do garage sales? I uh, I picked up uh, probably ten years ago. Uh, I picked up an original first edition copy of uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls for twenty five cents. What? Yeah. At a at a at a, uh, at a garage church sale. sale. I mean a. Uh, I was just it was a library garage. sale. Yeah, no, it was a garage sale. Just regular garage sale. Oh, and, and, uh, yeah, picked up for twenty five cents. Picked up a bunch of books, uh, but That's that one, awesome. that one, uh, I got two hundred forty dollars for when I sold it. Shit. And yeah. then, and then, and then, literally a month after I sold it, uh, George Stephanopoulos. Oh yeah, uh, was on oh. was on the Today Show or whatever, and said that he had just bought. A first edition copy of it for over seven hundred bucks. I was like, "Oh shit!" But I let it go too cheap. <laughs> yeah, but, well, because he's got a lot of, you know, he's got a big buck. So for him, two hundred dollars and seven hundred and five hundred, it's all the same difference. Yeah. He, you know, when you make money in the that. millions, what's a couple of hundred? Yeah. It's like fifty bucks or sixty or thirty-five. With, you know, if, I mean, in the, you know, who cares? For him, he's making mills. Yeah. Yeah, he showed up on that uh, that uh, pawn shop, the thing in Vegas, whatever one that was. Is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah. He okay. was in there, and he bought oh, he, one there. He's on the Today Show. That's what I was thinking it was. Yeah, Pawn Stars. That's right. Yeah, he said he paid seven hundred and whatever dollars for it, and I was just like, oh my god, that makes me sick. They closed yeah. that store, right? Didn't they close it? I don't know. I'll let you know next week. I'll be in Vegas for the fourteenth through the twentieth. Yeah, never been to Vegas in my life. It's really? another planet. But you live in another planet already, New York area. I got a suite, man. Just get yourself a ticket. Tickets to Vegas are dirt cheap. Yeah. Well I got a suite. I'm low on dough, man, so I can't I, I can't even you know. Tell me about and now it. I'm, I have a new business venture that I'm getting into, so what's that? You pulling the trigger I'm on it? I'm actually gonna What's up? What'd you say, Eric? You pulling the trigger on it? Yeah, I I think so. I'm I I might be buying into a buying uh, a thrift store. And oh wow! Yeah, so the the I don't know. I haven't spoken to you in a while, but I I rent a basement of a thrift store. I know. I seen that. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So you seen it? So actually, I have like half the basement, and the woman she's you know a widow woman. She's got four kids. She's making money, but not making enough. And, you know, she's like kind of demoralized a little bit. And she's like, but because of business in general, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to, uh, you know, any business. I mean, it, it's hard to, to, you know, run oh, a show. Absolutely. So make a long story short. What I'm trying to do is I want to get involved with her business, but I don't want to be 50. See, I kind of want to be 50, 50 because to anybody who's been in business, you want to have equal percentage for voting purposes so I can determine, you know, you know, when you make big decisions, you have to be 50% partner because if you're not, then, you know, you really have no, you, you know, no, no choice. Yeah. Anyway, but at the same time, I'm still kind of working. I'm just starting to get my eBay going where I'm just starting to figure out how to get merch. Like I'm just at the point where I'm able to like, I, I can list now kind of, you know, steadily because I have, my little photography area. I have clothing racks to put my stuff on. I'm I'm at the point now, like I have the estate sale companies. They'll call me and tell me they have merchandise. So I'm not really running around as much, like 
trying to find stuff. It's kind of like already there where I just go get it, right. you know, and then just negotiate. So now it's like I'm just starting to do okay with eBay, just starting to, you know, figure out what I'm doing. And after years, you know, of doing it. Yeah. And and now the woman, she wants to leave, you know. So I'm like, look, I should bet. Wait a minute. Uh, you know, we'll do something. I'm going to, I'm trying to, I'm going to run a big sale for her next month. We just talked about that because she's got in the basement, like 35 black garbage bags full of unsearched merchandise stuff in there that she hasn't even looked through that, wow. that she doesn't, she has not, a, she's like, look, I could have Gucci and Louis Vuitton bags in there. I wouldn't even know it, you know? So I'm going to go through a lot of that stuff with her and I'm going to run a sale. I'm going to help her out. You know, you know. I don't yes, know. Do you, you guys even go on estatesale.net? Oh yeah, I'm there every yeah, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. So every Sunday. That's the site I'm going to advertise on. I, I'm. That's the thing. I'm on there constantly, estatesale.net. So I'm going to run a sale. You know, I said, look, have a couple of employees ready. You know, that can work that day. You know, and then she'll make a couple grand, and then put a couple grand in her pocket. You know, and then because look, any decision, it's hard to make decisions when when you're behind on the rents and behind on this and behind on that. You know, Whoa. people already ask me about my due diligence if she's behind on this, behind. I says, look, I want to try to help her catch up with the business before she even brings me in. You know, because anytime you're making rash decisions, don't work. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. You know what yeah. I mean. When you're behind yeah. on your regular bills, you can't run, you know. That's why when they have people running corporations, it's separate, you know, because they're just running the corporation. Hey, Nikki. Nikki is in the chat now. All right, I'm going to jump off. I got to finish a couple more listings. You know, I got to get I got to get buckled. All right, I'll, 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 I'm going to click on. All right, buddy. Take care. All right. buddy. Wear a shirt next time. He never wears a shirt. That's what's the <laughs> dress like a wise guy. Yeah. He cracks me up, man. He's awesome. He's funny. Absolutely. Oh, we got twelve people watching. Fabulous. Hey, we're on to it now. I know, right? I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have missed doing YouTube so much. Uh, it, it feels good to be back. It's good to see you. Uh, I'm going through a bunch of, man, I got a boatload of, uh, CDs that are, uh, sermons and Bible studies by, uh, a famous minister, John MacArthur. I got like a hundred pounds of CDs for 20 bucks. You got, a, did you say 120 pounds? Yes. Over a thousand CDs. Of oh. these sermons and lessons by this one minister, and I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> That's uh, wow. How do you even begin to list that? That's what I'm. I right now I'm just inventorying that, inventorying them, and then I'm actually going to bounce it off of uh, Nevermore Antiques too, because he knows this preacher, and uh, kind of. Because we these are it's like God, I'm looking at probably thousands of dollars worth of refund. If you went to his church and ordered them online, there's probably God three grand worth of CDs here. That's insane. You know, I have six hundred brand new in the shrink wrap DVDs that I would <laughs> like to sell. <laughs> oh, they are uh, of the adult media. <laughs> so I bought a storage unit. New in the shrink wrap. Yeah, they're like four hour length feature films. Like, for example, here oh. is a bunch of them. I'm not going to show the covers, but here, you know, I was just trying to figure out listing them of, of what I could get for them. Um, I'm just, I don't want to be that guy who's a smut peddler. Um, if you could just find a smut peddler, you could flip them too. I know. Well, I talked to one of the, uh, 
adult novelty stores and the manager was pretty interested in them at a dollar a piece. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. And uh, because they sell them for like nine, ten bucks or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I, if, if, if somebody would give me a dollar a piece for them, I would, and Shane offered me 50 cents a piece for him before. Um, <laughs> so generous. <laughs> but uh, so she offered me a dollar a piece for him. And I was, I didn't have them with me. And I was just like, okay, well, she's like, well, the offer stands if you ever want to just, you know, get rid of all of them. And uh, so I, I don't want to sell myself short if, I mean, I've never sold smut before. So do, right. do, do I take a chance yeah. with bundles of like 10 of, of same subject matter <laughs> and list them for, you know, $25 for, for, uh, you know, a lot, or do I take them all to the uh, adult novelty store and unload them all for a buck a piece? Okay. I just added up one section of those CDs. They retail for four grand. Yes. Twenty dollar buy. I paid twenty dollars. That's insane. Are they in? Are they loose or are they in in the boxes or whatever? Well, they're uh, or like in a binder. Yeah, they're in there. And you know, Nikki Poplar Picker, she wanted me to send her some some of the some of the media. In yeah, a, in a clear poly bag to shock her <laughs> mailman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, the ones that have something to do with showers. Yeah. Yes, Krillin, I found them in a locker. The locker that I found all the uh, the high heel dress shoes, stilettos, and and boots in my that thirty dollar locker. If I found them in a locker around here in Canton, yeah, they would all be open, and there would be other used material <laughs> laying around. <laughs> This is like what I got. They're the oh, okay, and and they were actually still in their original boxes that they were shipped in. Somebody dropped like, and I found a little note in one of them, and it was somebody said, "Hey, I bought you all these for you and your wife to listen to, and this and that." And it's like, Lord, they <laughs> wow, wow. That's 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 just insane. That's nuts. I found uh, um, what do you call them? The uh, a bunch of P ninety X one time. Oh yeah. And I listed them, and my account got like I was I, I didn't get deactivated, but like they suspended me for a week. I couldn't list anything new. All my auctions that were live were stayed live, but they. They uh they oh, wouldn't yeah. say anything new for like a week. I got zeroed on uh, Adobe software. I had like huge case full of Adobe software that I bought off of a local city at one of their you know a city auction. And oh. oh, Krillin, you're thinking of Gamer Locker's Life, I think. I haven't seen him put any new new uh, content out lately, but then I've basically been on hiatus from from uh, from Facebook or YouTube for six weeks or so. But you're right; every every locker has has some kind of adult material or toys. That, and they have a George Foreman grill. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. I, I just wish one had a decent bread maker. I want a bread maker for myself, but uh, I used to find a ton of those, but those have dried up. I see a lot of them in in the Goodwill, but I'm not going to buy a bread maker from the Goodwill. 
<laughs> might have been used to cook something else in. Yeah. As you see the bug crawl across it. <laughs> yeah. How much meth can you fit in a bread maker? <laughs> And then I went, me and my friend Abby, we went, uh, we went thrift store. We were in my storage units today for a while. And then we went to check out Goodwill over by one of them. And it's my favorite Goodwill. It's where I find all my snapback trucker caps and, and I find a lot of yearbooks there. But their electronics are ridiculous. Like they want $30 for a VHS player. Not that I need any more VHS players. Um, but like all their electronics, they want like thirty dollars to seventy nine dollars, and I'm just like, this this is ridiculous. You have a mountain of them; they're not selling because they're way overpriced. They won't dicker at all, and uh, I hate that. Yeah, but today I went and they gave me a free book and two free trucker caps. <laughs> I think you would go to an auction, Delvin. What I, uh, Big Brother says. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. I think you would go to an auction. I go to lots of auctions. <laughs> and, and I buy storage units. Actually, I'm bidding on a storage unit right now. Um, let me look it up, see if I'm still the highest bidder. I was highest bidder earlier today. It's only a hundred bucks, but and it's filled with restaurant equipment. Not that I need another storage unit filled with restaurant equipment, because I have a storage unit in Illinois that is still filled with restaurant equipment from when I owned my restaurants. I was gonna say, is that from when you owned it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. But, uh, I've actually now that I think about it, I've sold most of this. Well, I still have all the dishes and all of that stuff. I've sold my fryers, my refrigerators, and pizza ovens, but uh, there's still I have a like a salad bar and a Subway sandwich make table, and I have probably good lord five thousand pair of referee knickers if you need any. Of what? You know those white knickers that referees wear. Yeah. Football. I've got like about 5,000 pair left, I think. How did you get those? <laughs> and why? <laughs> well, it was, it was uh, buying pallets, and there was other good things in the pallets that made yeah. me money. And I've sold some of those knickers, but yeah, they're. I think their next step is a dumpster. No, it's Halloween. Blow them out, dollar pair. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, my account. Let's see. Uh, it appears that I. Oh, I've been outbid. I've been outbid. It's up to a hundred and sixty dollars now. Four days left. There is check. So there is. Uh, one, two. Two stand up like true refrigerators, like four door refrigerators. One, two, three, four, five, six chest freezers. Um, a king size bed. A, and a bunch of other stuff I can't even quite make out yet. Oh, and there's a Coke vending, an old, old vintage Coke vending machine with like the side door you open and you pull the bottle out. Yeah. Got one of those in there. I like those. That would look awesome in my, my kitchen. Oh, I might have to jump up to two or $300 on this. And there's a guitar, guitar case in the back too. I hate being outbeat. Outbid. Huh. Hands and, and, and Christmas horn. And uh, one of them, Cambro. You know what Cambro is, right? Um, yeah. A Cambro coffee or tea dispenser. Oh. Right up 
front. I really want this unit. Another unit that I will pay storage on for God knows how long. I really don't need this unit. But I want it. <laughs> what did? Yeah. And then there's a I don't know, man. My luck and one of the one of the chest freezers, the lid is taped down. So you wonder. Yeah. Is there a body in there? Is there food in there? The plot thickens. Now you gotta buy it. Man, I don't want a dead body again. Again. <laughs> it was it somebody? I don't know if it was YouTube or somebody I knew. That they uh they finally convinced a friend to get in on the uh storage auction stuff. And the first unit they bought ended up <laughs> having a body in it. Oh, that's not that's crazy. <laughs> Obviously that's, they got a refund from the auction. That would that's my biggest fear is getting something like why can't it ever be like guns and ammunition? Why has it gotta be <laughs> Oh, because those people actually pay their bills. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, I never find a stash of rifles or cases of ammo. Uh, let's see. Where are we at here? I have plot oh, there we go. Uh let's see. Let's catch up on the chat. Carolyn says they need Oh, Nikki still has her four paint machines. I want one of those, Nikki. How much you want for one? Then offer to take the storage unit in Illinois on Dolan's hands, and maybe he'll throw in the smut. <laughs> how far? Are, how far are you from Springfield, Shane? And the rent on that one is cheap. It's like eighty dollars a month. So cheap for a ten by twenty. Damn. Because I do. I don't have one. I'll send you a FedEx label if you just want to ship it to me. Oh god, I bet that'd be expensive. Uh, I need to shave. I'm looking like a ragamuffin. My hair is getting long and unruly. Oh, uh, let's see. Anybody seen John? I haven't seen him for a couple days. Uh, let's see. Oh, I still have paint in them. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Nikki. I okay. The actual paint dispensing. I was thinking of like the paint shaker machine. That's what I was thinking. Oh, like in the hardware store. Yeah, but she's got the actual paint machine with that drops the colored paint in the into the base paint or whatever and then and then you put it in the shaker machine and shake it up to get the color huh let's see yeah <laughs> those are big and heavy how and why did you get them nikki and here would you like to come into the chat into the into the panel anyone is welcome let's see yes 
I have like 75 tabs open from my uh, my Forest Fen research I've been doing lately. You ever hear about that story? What story? Forest Fen and his treasure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Abby and I have been doing a lot of research on it and like planning a trip. To the Rocky Mountains to to go hunt for it, but in like doing a lot of the research, I kind of feel that a it was either a complete fraud, or he went out and retrieved the treasure after a while. Yeah, yeah that was a kind of an odd story. I mean, you think it might not be there yeah i mean after i mean there's there's literally thousands of videos on there like people have spent hundreds of thousands there's one guy that's watching a, a video today this guy has made over 65 trips out to the rocky mountains he's from centers from illinois and he spent like one hundred and seventy thousand dollars looking for this this treasure what's his name shane <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What, uh, hey, Nikki. My cousin oh, and Echo. Not really. Okay. How you been? All right. Our Vikings don't look so good right now. They're not my Vikings. Are you a Packer fan? No. Oh, okay. I'm a Bears fan. <laughs> what? I hang my head a lot. <laughs> oh, you guys are looking good now. Yeah. That Khalil Mack trade and Tewitzki is on fire. I remember back in the day, I used to, I used to bet on him and win. In 1985. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. in the 90s. One, one year. I was in high school, so it was in the 90s, <laughs> early 90s. <clears throat> Refrigerator Perry, McMahon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet Sweet man. Anyways, the paint machines, I found them on an online auction. This is why I don't like online auctions. I found them on an on, a local online auction. And the way they were described was, well, it was, I thought I was bidding on a school auction. Which I didn't know why there was paint mixing machines on a school auction, but whatever. Anyways, they said that they worked when they were taken out of commission. And that oh, they were shot, dusty shot. or whatever. So... I was thinking, and everything on the school auction had been taken out of commission, you know, a while ago. So, um, so that's what I assumed it was from. So I, I bid on them. I got them for, I got all of them for less than 10 bucks. Oh my God. And, and a big old national cash register. Um, that my nephew almost blew his nut out of trying to <laughs> lift the <laughs> <sword>. <laughs> He went to lift it up, and I'm like, just as I was saying, wait, that's really heavy. You go, oh, <laughs> like, hold it. You're going to blow a nut. Anyways, um, <laughs> I got all all five of those items for less than or $10, I think it was. I spent all, the whole total. Anyways, it was at this paint store that had just closed, and all the tints are still in it. Well, what I was thinking was, because I looked on eBay before I bought it, and the, there's two of them that are on a ta on tables. And the two tables that they're on are worth $150 a piece. And each canister is worth $50 a piece. So I figured I'd take them and I'd take them apart and yeah. sell the canisters and then sell the, sell the tables. And then I'd just scrap the rest. Well, because it's big, heavy steel, you know. Well, I get there and... My nephews are loading them onto the trailer, and all of a sudden, I see my one nephew. His beard is got is all full of red, and then I see yellow on my other nephew's jacket. And I was like, uh, "Why do you guys have paint on you?" <laughs> they look and they open up one of the canisters. They're like, "These still are these are still full of paint." I was like, "Shit!" <laughs> so. Anyways, I thought, well, no big deal. I'll just take the canisters off, you know, and put them in buckets, take them home, wash them up, whatever. 
yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta, there's like a plate on the bottom of it that you have to take off. Now these are like heavy, big old rounds. They have like 10, 10, 12 canisters on them. They're big, heavy steel machines. So, and you have to take the plate off the bottom of them to, I, I'm assuming, to get the canisters off. Well, I mean, I can't do it myself, so. <laughs> yeah, have you, like, tried, have you called, like, like, True Value or Ace Hardware or anybody to try and sell them to? No, I've just left them. I haven't even. <laughs> One, I kind of washed up a little bit on the outside, but I just haven't wanted to deal with them. But I got to get rid of them soon because I got to get rid of, I got to get rid. Of, they're just taking up too much room. I'd put them on Craigslist at least. and I know. I've thought of it. I took pictures of them one day, and uh, but I haven't done anything yet. Because I, I guess the one guy at, at, um, at our Campbell's Lumber store, he was telling me that uh, because I figured I would need some kind of um, – some kind of paint remover to clean them up. And he said, no, that's all water-based paint in there. It's tint. He says, and don't destroy that tint. He said, that's expensive stuff. And he was telling me how much it costs. I don't remember. And, um, and he's like, so you could sell the tint too. Well, I looked in there and they're kind of, it's kind of goopy or whatever. So um, I'll probably just have to clean it up and sell them that way empty. Well, I mean, hmm. I thought of scrapping them, but then I th thought with the paint in there, because, I mean, they'd add some good weight to my scrap pile, but with that paint, if they, if they found out that there was paint in there, I'd be screwed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -hmm. now I got this, um, I got one of those, um, what are they called, those those pumps that you use to get water out of boats? Yeah. A bilge pump? Yeah. And yeah. I was thinking of trying to use that to get the paint out of them and then just scrap them. Huh. Take, oh my God. take them off the take them off of the um or maybe I could use well it would take forever to use like a like a, a baster or something. Yeah, it would, it would go a long I don't even know what to do with them. But I want to take them I want to take the two off the tables though and I'll just clean up the tables and sell the tables. And I'll get my money back and then some. Man, I wish I lived closer. I'd come get one from you. Well, I'd give them to you. You want to come and get them? I'll give them to you. <laughs> Straight up I-35 to my place. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't want to bring the Audi, though. <laughs> no. I bought a new one. I bought a new Audi. I got rid of my uh, A6, and now I have a Q7 seven-passenger SUV now. So I, I can... So I can load it up with more shit. Well, there you go. You could come up and at least get two of them in that SUV, probably. Right. <laughs> I'll even give you one on the table. <laughs> if I wasn't already going on vacation. <laughs> probably freeze your nuts off up here anyways. <laughs> well, you're, no, you're from Indiana, so you're... Or Illinois. Yeah, I've lived in both. Oh, I'm used to it. So, yeah. But, well, it is five minutes past the midnight, and I have to work tomorrow. So, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and thank you for my guests who have joined my panel Eric and Krillin and Nikki. And, uh, sure. By the way, hi, Eric. Hey, Nikki. See you. And, oh, Eunice is in the channel now. Well, hello, Eunice. Long time no see. Hey, Jack. So, oh, there's been reports of my demise. <laughs> really? I, uh, I broke up with my girlfriend. So no. that was a very weird situation. But anyway, but I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. I appreciate the love and support.
And remember, this world's a shithole. <laughs> and share your smile freely without reservation with everybody you come across. If you don't know their story, your smile could be the only bit of sunshine in their day. With that, Bye, guys. I thank you all. I love you all. And we will talk again soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.